does every skater. Well, the next skater, Eugenia Zygalowski, didn't have her dress. She left her dress at the hotel. Fortunately, somebody else got her back. So she didn't have time to go back to the hotel in time. She got it five minutes before going on the ice. Well, how'd you find that out? Ah, my Angelique gosh. Angelique Abertskina, thank years you. Old. <laughs> okay. 83.93, personal best. Well, so, such a brilliant skate and so much passion at the end. She almost fell out of her start position. Eugenia Sikolovsky. That was great. Yeah. That, that was heartfelt. She wore her heart on her sleeve, put it out all on the ice, mm. and it kind of worked out pretty good. Yeah. And, you know, our coach Roman Ponsar and Angelique Abitschkina have explained, like others, that the Swiss school system, as we see the triple loops, meant that she's barely seen her coaches since school started again in September training so much on their own as we see the flip. A little under-rotated yeah. there, and it is under-rotated, the system. Coming back down the ice for the triple lats. Good left all the way around, nice straight, strong back, good extension as well. Triple Salkow, no problem. Right up at the double axle, double toe. She was on a mission, mm. wasn't about to miss anything. And 
<laughs> amazing to think that not having her dress until five minutes before she went on the ice hasn't. You could argue it might have. Sometimes the those. Focus. Sometimes those things sharpen your focus because it's urgent mm. now. You've got it. You've got to stay focused and you've got to get yourself under control. Sometimes those things do help. But it perhaps stopped her wedding. Well, let's take a look. 83.93 is her personal best score. So mm -hmm. you're going to see that kind of kill. Decimated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, you know, she trains with Roman and Angelique, and she trains with Francois Pitot, who is third oh, in yeah. the standings. That's great. In the, men. in the men. And so I'm sure that's a huge, I mean, not just great coaches, but great training mates. And so that will be the motivation, I'm sure, for a skate like this. And, you know, we talked about Swiss skating. I've referenced one training camp which is producing some great skaters there's a different training camp producing great skaters so you know swiss skating is in such good hands yeah it's really interesting you know we mentioned that you wondered okay should i have mentioned that because early in the season they go yeah. no, no no at the end of the season we can say that honestly now a long ways to go we don't want to build things up and put too much on anything because lots can happen and lots can change over the next year or two but certainly at this stage there's an enthusiasm, a desire, a vision, a you know, That's game such a plan. good word. You see the enthusiasm. You could say, oh, she has unders. She has quarter, you know, quarter short jumps. She has GOEs that are base. But the enthusiasm is priceless. Yeah, it is. And an attitude. There's an attitude there that is, wait a minute. It doesn't matter if we're from a small country. We can compete with these people. Mm. So let's get on with it. Yeah, it's exciting. And again, if... Well, actually, looking at a short program, the component's a little bit higher in this short program where she attempted the triple-triple. But looking like she's going to get close to the coveted 100-point marker. Yeah. The scores, please. And here are the free program the scores. Free Season best, 97.95. That's second in the free program with a total competition score of 153.24 as she takes the lead. And she's kind of happy. Yeah, she wants yeah, more. <laughs> she wants more. That's good. Yeah. That's great. And there is a look at your top five of the leaderboard so far.